He says when we're gonna do it again. The sixum. Hey, you've not told him we've done it again already. The foursome. Did he? Heck? He would have broke down crying. He thinks that Elaine fancies him. She were bored, rigid. I know. She just sat there with her mouth hung open, hypnotised by his specs and his constant parroting. He did keep her busy while we got a grip with our two, though. <laughs> oh, aye. And if Mandy or Jill ever threatened to bring Elaine again, which isn't very likely now they know they're onto a good thing with us, then we'll invite Curly and we'll make it a sixum. Otherwise, forget it. Exactly. Shake on it. Done. I mean, I like snogging to music, me. Not to the sound of Curly droning on about Victorian loose seat decorations or whatever it were. Right, lads, let's get discussing, see if we can't whip up a bit of love action. All right, twist. I can't help but get the impression you two are avoiding me. No, we're not. I was telling. Oh, yeah, because, like, I was just thinking, that's all, I'll stay on that. About the girls? About the game. Stick. I've been thinking about Elaine all day, 21. trying to picture her face. I can remember her eyes and her, her nose and her mouth, but it's all separate, like. In kit form, like. I rang her twice today. You never. Well, why shouldn't I? We agreed at dinner time we'd make him wait, let him get anxious. I am anxious, I'm desperate. What did she say? You've not had her going on about sixums, have you? She weren't in. Oh, that's all right then. She almost feels another cat. She will be tomorrow, though. Her mum said I'm going to call in off me round. You never. Off the bin. Bung in a rubbish. You're going to blow that relationship, Curly. I'm taking her a poem. That's suicidal, that pal, honest. In my memory, your eyes alone remain. Heaven is in those eyes for me, Elaine. Game of Arras, Kev. All right, come on. Bear yourself. I thought you'd have said something to you. Still, I'm not complaining. Yes, folks, what are you having? And by the way, if you don't want me to serve you, just say so. We have a selection of barmaids now. Vera, you look like I feel, cock. I don't feel very well, kid, thanks to women, this faggot. He's not been bringing his women home again. Ha ha ha. Look, it was a good meal with that. It was like chewing tennis balls, you mean. Good for you, I mean. Just a shock to the system, that's all, after all the rubbish we're used to eating. I mean, your stomach's not upset, it's just working for once. Right, Jack, fine, is it? Rum and pep. Rum and pep. Vera, do you sell liver salt? Two rum and pep. Look, I take your point about it being cooler to wait, but what good is it being cool? Come on, lads, let's have a six of me. Eh? Come on, help, eh? Oh, well, lads, why not? I started feeling sorry for him, mate, Sarah. Look, you've got to be cruel to be kind, haven't you? If we let him near that Elaine again, he'll be end pecked for the rest of his life. So let's me and you keep thinking about foursome, shall we? I'll die if I don't see her. I know I will. Best news I've heard all day, that Curly. Yeah, Curly, go and write another poem. You put me off my game of darts here. I didn't know love was all pain. Oh, no. I wonder what they're doing back there. Best not to ask. You know, Betty, I sometimes wonder if you really are a friend of mine. Oh, don't look to me for sympathy. You're only getting what you deserve for trying to get rid of her. I like her. I think she's a very nice woman. Well, that's it. I know how to tackle my own kind. Mm. But nice women. They're an unknown quantity. I've not met many of them. <laughs> hey, I'm a nice woman. Yeah, you're all right. But I've seen you stick the old app in now and again. Yeah, and I've enjoyed it uh -huh. all. <laughs> hey, up she's here. <clears throat> well, here I am, ready and willing. God, I hope you didn't tell him that. Pardon? Uh, nothing. So, what have you and Yogi Bear been nattering about then? Well, you'll never guess what he's just asked me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, love. I'm very slow. He's only asked me to go with him to this uh, Newton and Ridley dance. Oh, what did you say? I said I would. Well, I'd be silly not to, wouldn't I? I mean, uh, I've heard all about these dudes. They're very good. Two and a half pints, please, love. I'll serve him. Well, I don't know what to say. Don't say a word, Betty. It could be your last, seeing as you're the human being that's standing nearest to me. You're in a very attractive lady, if you don't mind me saying so. In fact, you're a considerable adornment to this pub. Thank you very much. 